and you also know how to handle list views um, in a way to populate lists with data. So we're going to put it all together, but with the help of Xcode, we're going to create a master detail application that actually looks very nice. So I go to File, Project, New Project, and then I will click on the master detail application. Hit Next. We're going to put a name for a project, so it's going to be um, Master Detail Superheroes. You'll see why. It's Swift. Um, universal devices, that's fine. Now let's do it for the iPhone. Okay, and then next. You're gonna see why later. So I'm gonna save it in my whatever my, my default directory for this is. And here it is, so. And here it is. All right, so this application will actually show the following. There's a master screen with a couple of buttons. And if I hit the plus sign, I will add a timestamp. And hit again, I will add a different timestamp. So in this nine seconds is six seconds. And if I hit it again, so on and so forth. Every time I click on a timestamp, the detail window will show that timestamp. This is the tutorial. I can actually also delete a timestamp, delete that one, and then the list will only contain those two, and then it will correspond to the detail. That is the application that comes here by default. So we're going to change that to give us a better sense of, um, of how we need to modify it to create our own. So I'm going to go to the master view controller this time. That's the only class I'm going to change. Whoops. I want to show it in this area. So there. <clears throat> What I'm going to do is I'm going to change a few things. So the data here comes from this objects variable. Okay. Um, just want to explain that the data comes from this object variables. Now here in the view did load, the important items are this. First, we create a navigation item. Okay. Which basically is the little arrow that will be able to come back and forth and you can change the title of it and stuff. Then the add button. Okay, we're going to create an add button, which is going to look like an add button. You have a bar button item. It's a special button of type add. The target for the action, when we click that button, what's going to happen? The target's going to be here in this class. That's why it's self. And the action is going to be insert new object, meaning there's a method called insert new object here. It is right here. This is what's going to be triggered when the add button is clicked. Now we'll receive a warning because this is being deprecated. And the fix for this is whoops, the fix for this is to use is to use the um, uh, hash selector directive with the class and the method that we're going to call when this button is clicked. Now in this navigation bar that we created up here, right up here in this navigation bar, we're going to put at the right, the right bar, bar button item is going to be our add button. And lastly, the other variable that we need to keep track of is this detail view controller. So which one's going to be the controller that we're going to land onto? Okay, what's going to be the detail? And what we do is when you have navigations on, a, on, a, on an application, Every new screen goes into a stack of screens that you can navigate from. So what we're doing here is we're going to say if the split view controller, which is this one that uh, has mastered and detail, if the split view controller actually uh, exists, right? So this is what this is saying. If, if we come back with a split view controller, basically both views exist then get me all the controllers from that split view controllers. And from that, from that, okay, the last view controller is going to be my detail view controller. Basically, if I have two view controllers, the second one is my detail view controller. Okay. And split view controller is a container that can contain more than one view controller, right? So we can have master and detail view controllers together interacting, right? <clears throat> so th this is what this is doing, basically saying that variable detail view controller is going to be 
the you know the last view controller in my navigation stack which right now is two controllers so the last one is the second one all right so this is the setup here there's nothing we do here okay there's nothing to change here now uh, this view will appear just leave it like that is this is the way it appears did receive memory warning actually calls the superclass so there's nothing to do there I'm gonna skip these two methods oh well you know what no so insert new object this is what happens when you click add what happens here is we're putting a new date in our objects then we're saying that we're creating a new index path of zero so basically at the top of the list and then we are inserting at that index path right we're, we're inserting the rows at that index path and the rows where are those rows coming from well they come from this method table view cell for row at index path okay that we know from uh, a previous video this will actually you request an index path and this will go and create the row for that um, so this is what happened when you insert you insert a new object in the model you want to insert at the top so you say index path is uh, zero basically and then have the table go and fetch whatever row should be fetched at that index path now the other thing is that's important is when you tap on a, on a, on a cell a seg called show detail okay you can see that in the storyboard a cell show detail um, is triggered so what happens when that cell is triggered well you look at the index path right so which row was selected you get the index path of that with that index path you get which object corresponds to the selection right in this case they're dates remember and then you say the controller is going to be the detail view controller that you have and then you set the detail item to that object and then the controller navigation item um, will you know basically the buttons will adjust in the navigation okay and that is really all you need so let's change a little bit let's do it more complicated So let's create instead of these objects, which is you know an empty array, let's create a, a full structure. This can come from this can come from your class that contains the model, right? Wherever. So I'm just gonna have objects and details for simplicity. Now everything so far works, right? So the objects are gonna be loaded and so on and so forth. The only thing is that these are not NS dates anymore. So I'm going to I'm going to change a few things. So here, for example, uh, so here, for example, right, when I create every cell, I'm not gonna display the dates as NS dates. I'm just going to display the objects because they're strings now, okay? And description is no longer applicable. It's just the object. So the the text in there is going to be just the object because it's a string. Remember, object comes from that index path. This is the table view self row at index path. You can check a previous video on table views to see how this method is run. Now, uh, but this is basically where the cells of the table view are assembled. Now, that's one thing. The other thing is what happens when we add? Well, let's add a couple of things, right? So first, when we add, we're not just going to insert a date. We're going to insert something. We're going to insert, how about we insert Clark Kent here, as you notice, these are superheroes and their addresses if they lived in Chicago. And then in the other array, details, I'm going also going to insert uh, Clark Kent's address, and it's going to be 345 South Wabash. Whoops. Uh, index 0. So I've inserted Clark Kent's name and his address. All right, so now we have we have this well there. Now the next thing is I took care of the data here, and the data has detailed data this time, not just the date. 
and here I've inserted a new piece of data. Here you can actually open another screen or another modal window or something to insert these things, okay? But that's out of the scope of this tutorial. So for now, I'm inserting hard-coded stuff. Now here's the thing. Let's look at what happens when you tap on the cell. You're going to go in the uh, index, uh, so we're going to get the object that we want. Now the object that we want to display in the detail doesn't come from object, but come from details. And it's not an, an it's not a date, it's actually a string, so we'll remove this cast, right? So the object's going to be the the details part at whatever row we click. So if we clicked on row three, we want the details of the details sub three, not the object sub three. Remember, objects is what's hap what's on the list. Details is what's going to go in the to, into the detail window. So we want the details sub whatever index was tapped, right? Everything else remains the same. So let's run it and see. And we have our list here, where if we click, for example, Bruce Wayne, we get their address, 132 East Illinois Street. If we click on Jessica Jones, we have her address. If we hit the plus button, we add Clark Kent with his address. And if we want to delete someone, we don't have them anymore. If I hit done, we don't have them anymore, okay? So that is how this works. By the way, that delete interaction happens here. I forgot to mention this. That delete interaction happens here. Commit editing style, okay? If what if the button that you press in the editing style is delete, then we will remove the objects. And to be really uh, sensitive, we should have also removed details dot remove at index index path dot row. We should have removed that. So uh, otherwise our addresses are going to be slightly off. Okay. But that is how you create a master detail application that actually has something in the master and something totally different on the detail.